Hi everyone. Today we're going to make a very special card for someone special for the holidays. Remember when we first started our art lessons, I told you that I get inspiration for art projects all over the place. I see things all over the place and I think to myself, that would be a really fun art lesson for my students. For this particular art lesson, I got the idea for, from a couple of places. And one is I have these mittens that I really, really like. Someone gave them to me for my birthday a few years ago. And I like the stripes and the design, and you can almost picture a little animal peeking out of those if you hung them up. Another place I got inspiration is from the book, The Mitten, by one of my favorite authors and illustrators, Jan Brett. This particular copy is super old. I've read it many, many times, but it's about animals climbing into a mitten. Maybe you've read this story as well. I really like it. So let's get started. For this project, there are a few different videos. I found that it's easier if I make shorter videos. And for this one, you have some choices to make. So you'll choose which video you need to watch as we continue. But this is the first video, so everyone needs to watch this one so we can talk about the supplies. You should have received a piece of mint green, minty, such a good color for December, with a scored line down the middle, which will make it easier for you to fold in half. So you're going to fold that paper in half and then set it aside for now. You should have also received a mitten pattern to cut out and trace. Now I've already cut one out and traced it. Sorry, just cut it out, not traced it yet, but I've cut it out to trace and we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. If you haven't cut yours out yet, you can do so now. Then the colors that I chose for this project, I think look really nice together and look really nice with the mint green. But you are going to need to make some choices because this is your special card. So it should reflect your choices. Some of the choices that you can make is, for example, what kind of animal do you want to be peeking out of the mitten? For this sample, I chose a cat, but I think I'll choose something different for the one that I'm doing in the video. Then you need to choose which color you want for which thing. For example, what color do you want your cuff to be? What color do you want your animal to be? Your mitten, the background. So kind of make those choices, but I actually made a list so that once I made my choices, I would remember what everything was going to look like and I sort of thought about how it would look. So here's my list. Now, the first thing that you might want to choose is what kind of animal you want to make. There are so many animals that would look cute poking out of there, but I decided I wanted to make a little toy polar bear. I guess it has to be a toy because a real polar bear, even a baby probably wouldn't fit in a mitten. So I'm going to do a polar bear and I'm going to write that right there. And I want my polar bear to be white. So you choose your animal, make a little list so you won't forget. Now, if my polar bear is white, I don't also want my cuff to be white because that won't stand out very well. So I'm going to think about that. The white is going to be for the polar bear. I think I want my mitten for this one to be blue. So I'm going to go ahead and write that I want my mitten to be blue so I won't forget. And I think a gray cuff on a blue mitten would look really nice. So I'm going to put gray. And then that leaves me my two pink papers for the background and for the details, because I might want some pink details on my polar bear. Don't you think so? I think so. I think that'll look really nice. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to trace your mitten to start with. Okay. 
I think it's easiest if you put it this way. Now, here's a tip. You can also probably put it this way. I guess this way is even better because you have a little bit more room up there. Either way will work. Okay, here's a tip. If you want the thumb on your finished card to be facing to the left, then go ahead and put your mitten tracer like this. If you want it to be facing to the right, um, sorry, I said that backwards. If you want it facing to the left, put it the other way because you're going to flip it over at the end. Excuse me for saying that backwards, but let me show you what I mean. I want my mitten to look like this with the thumb sticking out that way. So I'm going to trace it going the other way. So when I flip it over, it will be going the right way. Then I'm gonna go ahead and trace and cut my cuff out of my gray paper. I'll have a lot of gray paper left in case I wanna use my gray paper for details on my polar bear or details on my background or details on my mitten. Um, so that's gonna work out well. The, that is what you need to do first. Then you need to start thinking about what your animal is going to look like. So we'll cover that in the next video. Do this part now, make your list what you want things to look like, what color you want them to be, trace and cut out your mitten and your cuff, and then we'll move on to the next video.